Okay, in this video we're going to make a paper bird, and but in a special way in that it's going to be animated. I have a piece of paper here, I have one side that with writing on it to help us out. So the first thing you need to do is you need to have a square piece of paper. So you need to start with a square piece of paper. And the best way to do that is to take this edge and line it up with this edge. You get a triangle there. And then take this edge and just fold it so look at look in there so that those two edges line up and now you have a crease there and then you can tear this or you can use a scissor either way I find tearing it to be just as quick it's good practice so when you don't have a pair of scissors you can do that there you go and so now we have a little diaper and let's continue with the diaper in that we're going to fold it again so we form another diaper open it up fold it in half again so that we have a what i call a book fold and then open it up and fold it again now i did that kind of fast but really all it is is you should have basically a star pattern of folds. Okay? Now, I'm going to fold this over again into the diaper pattern. And let me explain a couple terms here for you. Whenever a fold looks like that, that's called a mountain fold. And if the fold looks like that, that's a valley fold. So, we have our diaper, and we're going to take this mountain fold and push it down and turn it into a valley fold. And I always say that we're creating a kite, our first kite. And we're going to do this again. I'll point it towards you so you can see. And sometimes that takes a little practice. That's a, that's a pretty important first step. So now we have a little box. And we got an open part on the bottom facing you. And that bottom should have a full flap, the next step to these flippy flaps, and one full flap there. Now, as it faces you, take the top level and fold this edge against the center line, and this edge against the center line. You're going to find on this bird that you do the same thing to both sides often. So you see how I've done that? And just take this top, and you see where this line is? And we're going to fold a fold there. But we're going to open it back up. Okay? That was pretty easy. So now we have a kite. Now we're going to flip it over. We have a little bit of a clock here. And do the same thing. And we take this edge and we fold it to this side. Okay, and you can stop the video at any time and come back to it. And then we're going to fold this over. Okay, now comes the hardest fold there is. You open this flap up and you just take the very top sheet and you fold it to where it's right here. And I'm going to face it towards you. And as you lift it up, you'll see that these two pieces come towards each other. You're just going to help them and flatten these two pieces down. Until this whole thing kind of flattens up. So it becomes a diamond shape. Now, I'll show that to you again because, again, like we do, we have to do everything twice on this thing. So I'm going to open the kite up, grab the top layer, pull it, and I'm kind of doing this backwards so you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to fold this in like that. We're getting very close now. And try to get everything as flat as you can. It's always good to push everything down when you're done. Now you're in pretty good shape. And again, I'm doing it facing you. Then you're going to take 
the top layer, fold it over. So you should have like this little kind of pyramid and a thing. And then you flip the whole mess over. So now you have three pieces on that side, one piece on that side. You flip it over and flip this over. So at this point you should have kind of a kite shape with these two sort of arms sticking up. Now you're going to see this line is still there. You're going to flip this up. And then you're going to flip the whole thing. Flip this up. You can flatten everything best you can. And now comes the fun part. You're going to hold it in your hand. And you're going to just kind of grab it from the center like this. And you're going to reach in and grab one of those arms and pull it down until it's about all oh, kind of right angles here. Okay, and flatten it. And then you're going to do the same thing to this side. So now, so now you get to pick sides. I, I always pick the worst side is the head. So you come in here to the head and you just kind of put your thumb inside and take this as, remember this is a mountain fold and you're going to make that a valley fold and that will become your head. So there you have a head and you've got a bird. Now most people stop there, but what I do is I like to, right where the neck meets the wing, see that little spot right there, Grab that and pinch the wings down so that there's a little bit of, there's a pinch right there. And then I just grab the wings and with luck, it will flap. And that's how easy it is.